we could have observed different results, however. In this extended family tree, once again, we are watching the transmission of whatever disorder or trait responsible for this yellow phenotype as it travels through the family. What we notice is, more often than not, those who receive this specific section of DNA indicated by the pink color, once again, this could be an abnormal chromosomal banding pattern, this could be a specific uh, a pattern observed in DNA fingerprints, more often than not in this family tree, those who receive the uh, pink DNA section have the yellow phenotype, and those who have the yellow phenotype have this pink DNA section. Because we see these traveling together, we would conclude that they were linked, and so that thus this trait is located on this specific chromosome. Now notice that in the last generation, it is possible to uh, have the yellow phenotype without this pink section of DNA, and vice versa, it is possible to get the pink section of DNA without the yellow phenotype. So that would suggest that this pink section is not the precise location of the gene. It may be nearby the gene. So that while uh, this section of DNA may be on the same chromosome as the gene that causes this trait, uh, it may be somewhat uh, distant on that chromosome. And so therefore crossing over can sometimes separate the DNA section and this phenotype. So in this case, we would conclude that this section of DNA and the trait were linked, but perhaps not tightly linked.